There you are, Tank. I'm a child of the 50s, so having grown up watching Mickey Mouse Club and the wonderful world of Disney, the opportunity to imagine and create Walt Disney's offices was really incredible. Good morning. Good morning. Could you let Mr. Disney know I've arrived, please? Absolutely. Please have a seat. No, no, there's no need. Michael Korn with the production designer and I have worked together many times, and we've done a lot of projects about real people. There he is. <laughs> this is Travers. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Is it all like this? Yep. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Daniel Orlandi has the ability to evoke the period, but not show the period off. He has an ability to make people look real in their clothes. In the 60s, everything was going forward. The colors, the lines, women were freed from their girdles, but they still look like a lady. Look at you. Uh, I could just eat you up. <laughs> that wouldn't be appropriate. We also wanted to show the difference between P.L. Travers coming from England and her tweeds and wool and sunny Southern California where people are more casual. Mm. Yes. They did such a beautiful job just to see everyone getting 1961 haircuts and putting the clothes on. Nothing too showy, but I mean, everything specific and great. That'll work. There are innumerable pleasures on this picture, but one of the greatest was the opportunity to meet and interact with Richard Sherman. And just how emotional and how meaningful this was to him really inspired us to do even better work. And action! It's a remarkable experience for me. It's like looking at home movies of yourself 50 years ago. I'm very impressed with all the different offices where we worked when we were demonstrating our songs for Mrs. Travers and brought back a lot of memories. Oh, I love it. Although the proper English would be, let us go and fly a kite. I might be willing to overlook that. The Disney offices, the Disney lot, the furniture, the typefaces really kind of float above and beyond time and space in many ways. How lucky are we to work on this film and get to film at Disneyland? You're very limited in terms of what you can't change, what you can change, and Michael Kornblith did so much work that really reminds us of what Disneyland looked like in 1961. And then you're there and you're shooting and you go, man, I have the best job in the world.